Hello everyone, welcome back to my second review of today, and today it will be a film that I've been eagerly, eagerly anticipated to watch. At first, when I first watched the trailers, I was a bit like, this seems a bit, this seems alright, I mean, I really, really like Ewan McGregor, I think Naomi Watts is one of the best actresses ever, I like the concept of the storyline. So, uh, the first trailer I watched, I wasn't too hooked on it, but the second trailer I was, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch this, so I have, and that is The Impossible. So, The Impossible stars Ewan McGregor and Naomi Watts, um, and a couple of unknown actors. Um, one of the, the, the oldest son in this film is played by Tom Holland, who I believe was somebody, some, uh, kind of, uh, like, guy who was in Billy Elliot or something, uh, in the West End. Also, so basically, um, five of the families, uh, not five families, five people in the family, Ewan McGregor as the dad, Naomi Watts as the mum, and then three kids, uh, one kind of five-year-old, one uh, eight-year-old, and one, like, thirteen-year-old or twelve-year-old, um, so, like, two small kids and then one older kid, uh, basically, they go on holiday, uh, the, Ewan McGregor, he has, a, like, a good job in Japan, uh, treats the family to, like, a vacation holiday thing, uh, in somewhere in Asia, um, and you know he goes on holiday. They're having a great time. One day they're playing in the pool, and a massive tsunami wave comes and wipes everything out. Naomi Watts and the son uh, Tom Holland are separated, uh, and Hugh McGregor and the other two kids are separated. So it's basically their their journey of trying to find each other through this massive tsunami. Now let me first say that the first opening of this film with the plane and the tsunami were absolutely terrific. I absolutely loved how um, the concept of it, I thought, um, I watched some reviews of the film and I thought, oh, does, does, uh, does it not even show about, like, any of the, of the family, does it just go straight into a tsunami, because at first, it was just a black screen and there was this sound, and I thought, holy shit, I was, I was really scared, but it was just a plane, right? um, because I put, uh, because it was just really, 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 really scary, uh, yeah, but, I mean, it was really just a terrific film, the tsunami scene, was quite uh, intense. I mean, it was really, really, really loud. Uh, a bit like the Super 8 one in the cinema where they have, you know, proper surround sound kind of uh, speakers and they just, you know, really, you know, kind of put it full speed. It just really bursts your eardrums. Um, so, yeah, I think this was, at first, people thought this was going to be kind of an underrated film, but I think this has done really, really, really well box office wise. I mean, I know some of my own friends have actually seen this. Loads of people on YouTube have seen it, and, you know, obviously loads of people at the cinema have seen it. Um, you know, I think it was a gripping story, incredibly powerful, very emotional film. I mean, this is not one for, you know, the faint hearted, I mean, uh, or people who cry easy. If you, if you like your kind of drama, really drama, slash sort of disaster, not like 2012 Ron Emmerich disaster, you will definitely, definitely enjoy this film. Ewan McGregor's performance was actually the best I've ever seen of him in Korea. The only one he's ever, ever, ever got close to is Train Spotting. I mean, the the fact of the matter is they're absolutely two completely different. You know, Train Spotting, a heroin addict in Scotland, the impossible, uh, a fully grown man who is, you know, trying to find his daughter and uh, his family in a tsunami. But I think this performance from him was absolutely superb. Naomi Watts was nominated for an Oscar, well deserved, absolutely brilliant. In some parts, she looked a bit like. Um, Reagan from The Exorcist with some of her makeup. It was very, very, very well done. So I highly recommend The Impossible. I thought it was an absolutely fantastic film. Uh, I I think you will enjoy it. I'm not sure if it's got a limited release in the UK or if it's just a release in America. But yeah, guys, join me some for some more reviews uh, later. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.